only time you're ever changing things is when you want to. Not because you have to, because it's hideous and you're staring at it. How to prevent making terrible interior design mistakes from your girl, Bright. Welcome to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Bright and welcome. So here's the thing. I see y'all on social media and you guys are not wanting to hire someone to help you out with this space. And I totally understand like budget constraints or you just feel like you're that girl. Like you got the taste, you got, you want to do it yourself. I fully support, I fully support you. However, there's still some people making terrible design mistakes. Your rugs, please make sure you're selecting the right size rugs. Anyone who is using a six by nine in a, in a space that clearly requires a nine by 12 is really hurting my soul. So let's just say 2020, 2023 is the last year we should be seeing floating rugs in your living rooms. Please, I beg you. <laughs> Next one that we're gonna talk about is pillows, okay? When you're stuffing your pillows and chopping your pillows, I've heard people saying chopping is out and some people saying chopping is in. This is gonna lead me to my next point about trends and how you should follow trends. There are, it's it's actually in your best interest to follow trends because you're gonna see what's in. There are things that are better practices that are making things better. You should be following trends, but follow it wisely. Don't fall for every trend and you don't need to fall into and buy everything and change out your entire space because you saw squiggles everywhere and now you feel like you got half of squiggles everywhere. You don't need to do that. <laughs> you don't need to paint your entire home one color. You don't have to do any of that. But there are certain trends that are, you know, they're great and that you should follow and you could be able to incorporate into your spaces. Before you go and paint every room, I know you're gonna put it, you're gonna, you've already heard the tip of painting it and putting it in that room. But I want you to watch the colors over the entire day. Not just the first time you put it up on the wall. No, you say, oh, okay, perfect. It looks good. It looks good. I love it. <laughs> I love it. Okay, before you go and pull the plug, I want you to actually watch how the color moves throughout the day because it actually changes. At night, that color might look a little bit more brown and a little bit more yucky than you were anticipating it. You will know that until it's nighttime. You need a nightstand. And you were like, I want a nice hand so bad. And I'm moving into this apartment next week and I need to have a nice hand. I need to have a nice hand. Amazing. And then you go and you buy a cheap one you don't really love, but because you need a nice hand so bad, you buy, you spend that $55 from Ikea or like something cheap like that, whatever. And you're happy and you're, you're like, okay, it does the job. I'll buy it later. And now it's been three years later and you're still complaining about that ugly nice hand when you could have maybe waited a little bit longer, saved that money, maybe done it three months later, and maybe you would have spent maybe 150 or something a little bit more on it, and you would have helped end up with a more beautiful nice hand that you love. And now, nice hand's done, that's a lot. You're not gonna think about buying another nice hand, but now you've bought the nice hand, but you're still thinking about changing the nice hand, and you hate the nice hand, and you're not happy when you go to your bedroom. Why would you do that to yourself? Why? Why? <laughs> why would you do that to yourself? And this is the whole thing about being patient and planning. Plan properly and take your time. And I promise you, the year might suck that first year, but I promise you, it's gonna go by so fast. It's a one and done. And once you're done, you're done. And the only time you're ever changing things is when you want to. Not because you have to, because it's hideous and you're staring at it. And if you can, ask for feedback, like ask people around you, like sometimes it is okay to get a second opinion, but it's okay to still be like, you know what, I still want it and I still like it for myself. It is okay for you to like something that no one likes. It's absolutely all right. And especially when it comes to your interior spaces, there are things that are never going to be like loved by everyone else. But I'm going to tell you this right now, a person with true taste can appreciate someone who has individuality in it and have their own style they have you can see them shine through you can appreciate that i don't have to want it for myself but i can love it i can still love it and i can love it even more for you and i actually mean it when i say love it for you love it so be okay being authentically yourself in your space. Do You don't have to have an all-white space for you to be like 
cool and have an aesthetic pleasing space i promise you the color is still acceptable i really hope you guys enjoyed today's video and i really hope you guys got something out of it and if you are in toronto or just in canada or north america and you're looking for someone to come in there and help you with your personal space you can definitely send us an email you can send it to info at adontes.com or you can send us a dm on truly bright interiors or at Dantes on Instagram. And yeah, this has been super exciting. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button while you're still here. Hit the like video and I will see you guys later. Bye.